Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me here once again in Computer Tycoon where we, we're looking forward to what should be quite a busy episode. And we're starting in pause mode here because there's several things about to tip over into hopefully something exciting and or interesting happening. One of which is my uh, my CEO, my avatar, if you will, for this series of the game, Adrienne Ajax, is currently looking to hire a new manager and we're just four days away. This this is her here, apparently. Yes, in, in green. The green person is Adrienne. So she's hopefully going to find me a, a fourth manager to fill this, this last desk in our little office here. We're also about to complete the research into increased electrical noise reduction, which, to be honest, we don't really need. Uh, don't go there, go here. Because it, I, I don't have a real problem with noise or anything like that. If we Actually, if we go to our computers first. So this is my computer here. And the noise level is zero. And the heat is one. So I don't have a need for noisy fans or heat dissipation techni technologies or whatever like that. But we do need to get some of these done because they will be important. In particular, this uh, noise reduction, we're going to need to get to the XT power standard, which the blue colour there indicates in the legend down here. This is part of our movement part of our research towards unlocking the PC generation of computers. We're still in the home computer era. Uh, we're in 1976, in fact, March. In fact, oh, it's, it's... OK, we're a little bit early. We're not exactly on the 23rd just yet. We're getting close, though, <laughs> as of time of recording, anyway. So, yeah, gosh, how, many, how long ago was that? Don't, don't ask, whatever you do, don't ask. Uh, we've actually got, yeah, quite a bit of research coming up, some of which should happen fairly quickly. I am getting 24 research points every day and I do have one of my sites, which we'll look at in a moment, uh, actually upgrading their research lab as well, which will give us another few points uh, to increase our speed of research, which, which we need to get. So, I mean, if you look at that uh, XT power supply down here, 3,000 research points, 125 days. That's ooh, four months. So we're doing that. Uh, just to have mentioning sites, have a quick look here. So what have we got? Uh, we're getting uh, oh, more logistics points in New Zealand, which I think is our latest, uh, our latest outs, uh, our latest site. Sorry, get, put my teeth back in. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're upgrading that. We've already got four spare logistics points already. So we're going to get another four, I think, from that upgrade. Uh, we're going to start taking down, I hope in this episode, we should start seeing a real move to start bankrupting, if not actually bankrupting, at least one of my competitors. Uh, and in Austria, uh, we're building, or oh, that's where we're getting our new lab level. That's going up to level three. And again, an office upgrade there to keep the cost down. I think that's all. Oh, we're getting another office level in the Philippines. Well, I get oh, that's a, I think that's our first research lab area. Yeah, that's our primary research center, and that's it. And we'll carry on building these others out as we need to. We've got three or four uh, items of technology to add into our PCs. Do I actually want to? Let's go back to that queue for a second. What we could do? We could wait for the microphone. Add another accessory to our next computer because we have researched at the end of the last episode. We had researched uh, 6 micron, the 8080 CPU, a brand new powerful CPU for our computers, and also CLI, which is going to be the first significant upgrade, I think, to our operating system, which would be very nice indeed. Um, and one thing, actually, before we get the game running again, we will get there soon. <laughs> is I noticed this. I've got a small site in Austria. Uh, if I go into Austria here, yeah, it's, it's a research centre. Yep. Yeah. It's, uh, what level is that? Uh, level two, I think that is. Oh, is that, that's one's, that one's upgrading as well. But, and we sell into Austria because it's a filthy rich country. We're not the principal 
uh, the, the principal supplier there. We're, we are second, I think, in this marketplace. So for some reason, massive modules are outselling us in Austria. They're selling 227 computers. We're selling 137 and IBM at 121. Uh, and the Austrian pref uh, preferences are for performance. We're good on performance. But if we look at the country info, I think the country survey, yeah. The fact we're, we're top dog in every market here. So whether it's workers or gamers or just casual users, we are their favorite computer. It's only this very small cheapskates, the bargain hunters of Austria, who seem to find these guys, that's um, IBM, isn't it? Seems to find them more, more attractive. But not actually interesting, not actually massive either. That's curious. So the best sell. Oh, it's telling me the best sellers. This is a relatively new uh, dial, new tab on this box, on, on this dialogue, I think. And I don't think it was with me in the last series. So what have we got here? Sold yesterday. I only sold three. It's my local price because I'm selling at full retail price or sorry, full recommended price in filthy rich countries. They're not getting a discount. But that's interesting again because I am my machine is so much better than theirs. What would be? Oh, hang on. Does that? It does. It does click through. Except I can't get rid of this box. <laughs> it does click through to your computer. So yeah, we can see here. Um, that is just my computer. What I'd like it to do actually is, yeah, this is more useful to me. So we're looking against Massive and IBM. So they're, they're more recently released computers, so they're going to get that rush of enthusiasm, I suppose. Compared to mine quality, my ease of use is better than any of them. My prestige is better than either of them. My feature set, my disk capacity is better. My performance, oh, actually, Big's performance. I, we're not talking about Big, we're talking about IBM. No. Interesting. So I don't know why I'm losing out there. If I get the game running, it might tell me. So let's uh, have it running. Your building upgrade has completed. We've got a new lab in Austria. No, we're still not winning in Austria. Even though I've got capacity, I can sell computers there. Sometimes I've seen that in the past. Oh, bother. Adrian, you are annoying. <laughs> Yeah, she just, every now and then, she might find a manager. It took, I think, four attempts previously to find Roderick, is it, or Frederico? I've forgotten his name already. My third manager. It took her ages to find him, and she's still having trouble. I mean, her charisma isn't great, but it's the only skill she's got. I should have picked a better, a better set of skills for her. Oh, that is annoying yeah right what we're going to do we've got eight logistics points we're going to start expanding we're going to move towards bankruptcy of some of our opposition uh oh hang on uh who's that or oh, whatever your name is uh I, I i'm terrible i forget their names annabelle is it i think from iceberg anyway i want to give uh, adrienne a task uh, an active task because the passive tasks she is um, not very good at. <laughs> yeah, useless. I mean, she she'd give me a nice boost to research or manufacturing, but it's not it's not enormous. So active. This boosts our fan count by doing uh, educational programs or television television interviews and the like. So that would boost boost sales of our computer to some degree, but. I, yeah, I still want a manager at the end of the day. OK, let's have a look at this person who wants to talk to us. You are Annabelle. I've remembered your name. They've got one tech we haven't got. I think this was a big fan or one of the fans, I think, that most people had got, which I haven't got. Uh, they're a bit cold towards us. We have, we've been fairly friendly to them. OK, so what do you want? Just business. 
Nothing more, nothing less. They want eighteen million dollars. <laughs> no. Right, sorry, that ain't gonna happen. Okay, now oh we've got Austria. Excellent. That's that maybe I uh, I can't actually remember. You have researched a new technology. I should remember stuff, shouldn't I? Uh, it might be one of the last countries we started selling into. Okay, we've got eight logistics points. Where are we going to sell? I think let's check our dominance chart here. We could go for the smallest competitors here at the bottom, but they're all very much of a muchness, aren't they? I think there isn't much difference between any of them. And Big has been one of our largest competitors for some time. I think it used to be him and Massive, but Cheap and Great have suddenly come good with their last model. So I think we're going to try and take out Big. And the one way of doing that, of course, is going after their biggest markets. Up to now, I have not been selling into poverty countries because there's less profit in it. And for some reason, I quite like profit. But I think now is the time to do that. Uh, actually, if we just check China. So in China, big sells just 409 computers. Ah, it's not a lot. But I think... Yeah, if we take that away. Is he selling big numbers anywhere? No. No, sales must be slowing down, because even their computers are getting a little bit old now, a bit long in the tooth. So let's uh, start selling into China, shall we? We'll put one logistics point in there. I'll actually go to the markets list here. It's uh, slightly easier to check. We'll exclude poverty for the moment and closed markets. We'll go for population again as our key driver of interest. Yeah, I've got orange everywhere. Everywhere is orange. The Central African Republic. Ah, it's only a poor country. The tax is high, so I've been keeping out of it. But to be honest, you guys deserve good computers, so I'm going to give you the opportunity to buy them from me, obviously. Uh, who else? Uh, yeah, I'm ignoring whoever that was, the blue country. Possibly Dator, is that you? Uh, where else are we going? Uh, Western Sahara. Could do you. Oh, your tax is cheap. You're a fairly big country. Actually, you're my friend. I think I've got a good relationship with... Hattori, is that his name? Yeah, from Brutal. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Um... No, we'll leave that. I'm looking for brown countries. I think, ah, there's one. Ghana. Average. Oh, right. Yes, we haven't. I thought we'd done all the average ones. There we go. And, I mean, the, the strategy, the advice for strategy is to avoid competing with your opposition for as long as you can. Uh, and that, that is quite good because you're just losing the marketing budget there. You're spending all that money on marketing and, and produ producing your computers, but because you're competing with someone else, you won't get the whole market. You'll be losing sales if sort of thing. But at this stage of the game, I'm so far in a ahead. I don't think I'm worrying about that. They've caught up with me quite a lot. They're in all the countries as well. So, yeah, more of these average countries. I've got three points left to spend. Okay, if we've got any really big poverty countries then. Which will make up for their... Ooh, Norway. Which will make up for... The, yeah, Norway is very big. <laughs> A little surprising, but there you go. It makes up for their lack of wealth in their simple... The number of people available to me. Now, this that will dramatically increase my marketing budget. So we may need to increase my marketing budget. Uh, offices. I've got one left. We'll leave it like that for the moment. Let's. I've got. I've got China. I've got Norway. I've got everywhere. I'm over eighty-five percent of the computer market. Oh, just looking down here. John Small from Massive and William Big from Bigs have tried to steal technology from me, and failed. 
So I have a grievance. Now, at the moment, as we've said before, there is no real sort of grievance or real rivalry thing going on at the moment. Not until the suing and spying upgrade is, uh, is made available to us. And uh, Andrash, the developer, is working very hard on getting that ready for us. Just waiting for the microphone to come you through. You have researched a new technology. Awesome. So we will start building our new computer. But before we do that, a quick check of research. Is there anything here? Could do the three micron. Oh, actually, three micron is already under on our list to be done. The sprite, we're doing that now. That takes us into some some good new circuitry and technology for particularly for video cards, obviously. Uh, I will add the 8088, 8088 in there as well. EEPROM. Uh, we could add you, I suppose. You know, you give me some, some features. What about the double E prom? You give me more features. This It's not a major concern of mine at the moment, but we'll leave it out for the for the time being. Uh, where else are we looking down here? The sort of yellow background icons here of technology that we can start moving towards because we've got the preceding technology either completed or in process. Time sharing, a new upgrade for my operating system, and access modernization. We'll do that as well. Uh, the mouse we could do. Ah, and that gives us mouse support. That's not strictly necessary for anything in particular, but the mouse, yeah. Another accessory, the UPS, that's already in the queue. Advanced heat sinks. No, no, not going to worry about that. So what's on the queue? What does that look like now? Uh, the big fan is down there. The longest or the, the highest research that we've got here, the one that requires the, the largest, the most amount of research points is CGA. But I think I'm OK with this order. So let's crack on and design ourselves a new computer for 1976, the summer. Of 1976. Uh, this is going to be number seven. Okay, there you go. And we can, oh, we can, two accessories. Oh, the gun controller. Yeah, and the microphone. Yeah, we'll add that. That is lovely. The memory. We've got one extra technology we can put on here, and that will be the six micron, I imagine. Get these in date order to make sure that I don't get confused. Latest at the top. Okay, so uh, it's currently costing us 80 take that down. Oh, we need to copy it first, of course. Yeah. Our first memory of 1976. Six micron down to 60. Uh, oh. Oh, this, the multiplier gives us a nice boost in performance. Yeah, we could do that. I'll take it to... Yeah. Actually, 1.75. 75 production points for that. I, we're happy with that. Create that, add that to our computer. Our CPU, we've got two fabulous new technologies for this. 768080. So we'll take that out, actually yeah, put that in. Uh, 71 down to 6, 52. Oh, okay, we'll boost that. What's a good number for? The base clock, 400-ish, that'll do. Multiplier, uh, yeah, 175. Okay, we'll make it accurate. 175, that's good. I think that's reasonably cost-effective. Add that to the computer. Uh, removable media, no change there. We've got six micron we can put on the video card. So our VGA. And six, lovely. Uh, I'm going to multiply this. 1.52, random number, why not? Add that to the computer. Uh, power supply. Uh, oh, I don't think we... Do we need to change this? I don't think we do, really. Oh, we can put the noise reduction on, which actually gives us a nice boost to the quality. Yeah, but yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Actually, how much does it add to the cost? Uh, yeah, quite a bit. 
but I think we can afford it. There we go. And add that to the computer and f almost finally, <laughs> i.e. not finally at all, our motherboard uh, is just the 6 micron on here. SCSI is obsolete it says, but I, I believe personally in SCSI as you know. Okay, we'll call it ISA still. And we'll take the 10 micron out. Uh, oh, I need to copy it. Ah, darn it. We go back. I can just change the name of that back to what it was. 75. So I don't get too confused. We'll copy that. And this will be 76. That's the job. And we can take. So it's 66 at the moment. Take the 10 out. Put the 6 in. Prom. Yeah, we've not completed cared about prom it only as a point or two to our feature set and adds 20 or so production point cost now we're not going to do that we'll add that to the computer and finally this operating system os76 great name opcode cli isn't that looking gorgeous you recognize that Okay, maybe not all of you recognize that. <laughs> we'll add that to our computer. That is superb. Uh, we'll stick. Ooh, we're top dogging everything now. That is excellent. In fact, if I just come out there for a second, how does it compare with the competition? Ooh, knocks them out of the water. Uh, actually, I don't want to worry about IBM or massive. Just big and Cheap and great for my main competition, as we've seen. Uh, yeah, actually, Big is doing reasonably well on performance. But I'm in charge there again. So our marketing, we will keep this the same. Yeah, Big Marketing, that's fine. And uh, into test. Your new computer model went into the testing phase. So let's actually have a look at our sites. What can we upgrade in terms of research but we could make Austria uh, a level four as well it costs a lot but we are making a lot so I mean why not or we could go up to good grief I've just noticed that <laughs> going up to a level five research lab here in the Philippines will give me 328 research points a day yikes Okay, and that's well. I'm getting thirty percent of that by having Edward, my uh, my partner in crime, in the setting up of this computer company. He adds a lot, a good bonus to that. I think let's yeah, let's upgrade uh, Austria, and oh, did I click something there unexpectedly? I think I must have done somehow. Uh, right, so that's that. Actually, we'll increase the level of our offices as, offices as well, just to reduce our overall costs. Do I need to worry about marketing costs? I don't think so. Everyone's on level three. Okay. Logistics, I think. Oh, we've got a couple on four. We've got one on four, which is India. Actually, let's upgrade the Philippines. Yeah. To level four logistics points as well that's all good um, yes we were about to release our new computer which is number seven let's market you actually it doesn't add that much less than a million you have cost. researched a new technology and we're making nine million a day really good right so where are we going to spend these logistics points. Let's, let's take on Poland. There you go. Let's take on Yemen. There you are. Uh, right, some of these other countries down here. Greece. You're a reasonable size. Denmark. Well, you're only poor, so that's okay. There's more money to be had from you there. Iraq. Uh, oh, go on then. Georgia, uh, you're, you're too small. Uganda, I think you're fair. Oops, Uganda, you're reasonable size. Take you away. 
86% of the global market. We're getting three micron, which is lovely. We'll be typing ready to have a new computer release soon, won't we? You have researched a new technology. Uh, is that Laos? It is. Oh, you're quite big as well. We'll take you. Ukraine. Oh, why have I missed Ukraine? That's quite a big country. There we go. You have researched a new technology. Oop. I'm not prof... Oh, oh, I'm not profitable. Heck, that could be because my old previous computer is not selling very much. No. So if we uh, archive that one. Yes, thank you. That should bring us back into profit. He said, hopefully. Yeah, that, that, that loss is decreasing. Which is far... There you go. On its way down. And we're back in profit. This is weird, seeing profit in only six figures. Have a quick look at negotiations. Oh, hang on. Someone has got two tech. Okay, let's try Annabelle. And see if she's willing to do a deal for whatever tech it is she's got. She's minus nine cold. So is this, yeah. So what technology do you have? Oh, you have the EEPROM. Okay. Um, okay, so what would make that work for you? <laughs> 55 million? I don't think so. What if we took that, a that away? And I offered you something in return, like say noise reduction. That's a bit noise reduction is a bit too good. What about a microphone? Ooh, they're willing to give me loads of stuff for that the EEPROM and the uh, big fan, as well as nearly fifty-eight grand a day for a few years. Um, yeah, I'll I'll take that. Yeah, thank you. Oh, and we get a plus two in relations as well. So she's slightly less cold to me. Lovely. Come out of there and out of there. And okay, so oh, Brutal has got one more tech that I don't. Ah, so what's that, my friend? We are supposed to be friends after all here. No. Uh, trade. Your technology. The small fan. Okay, what would you want for that? Ooh, loads of stuff. I'm not sure I'm prepared to do all that. Six mil. I could give you six million, I suppose. So if we take it, we'll give you SCSI. And we'll take out the Isobus, the six micron, the new processor, CLI, and that. Okay. But what if I were to give you, say, 18 million? 18 million? No, 1.8 million. Still doesn't like it. What about... I could give... All right, let's take that up then, say, to 3 million. 3.8. That's nearly 4 million. Still doesn't like it. No, no, not interested. Thank you. Never mind. Before we do our new computer, let's have a look at uh, one of that new, one of those new tabs that we've got. Alternatives, cheap and great. Oh, and massive. Okay. Actually, we're not that much more expensive in these really poor countries. And we're oh, we're actually cheaper in poor country compared to massive. Actually, we're cheaper than massive in every wealth band apart from filthy rich could i reduce my pricing i didn't need to close that if i reduce my pricing i still make a bit of a profit on that if i make that 80 take it down to 1600 okay let's try that and performance oh ibm what have you done okay let's bring you up here you have really done performance, haven't you? 
six. No, no, no. It's not that. It's the uh, CPU. Eighty, eighty. Ah, yeah. There you are. There's. That's where it is. I think. So if we go into the hardware tab down here, and just look at uh, CPUs for IBM as well. Yeah, his is 1.65, mine is only 0.7, so he's double the performance of mine. But, yeah, I don't think we've got a good relationship with, with Will, if that's your name. Because, I've yeah, you asked for money and I told you to, to do one, basically. <laughs> so, all right, so let's see if we can do that. Let's see, I want let's take on performance as our next big feature. So, AC7, we're going to copy this. Do you know what? I am going to call this machine Ace AAHC8. Yeah. No new accessories. Our memory. Uh, what can we do here? Copy that. 6 micron can go down to 3 micron. The dip memory can now be DRAM. And how does this compare with my previous one? Ooh, feature set is really good. Let's uh, performance. This is going to start making it expensive, I suppose. Something like that. Multiplier. Which if I take that down to two and just multiply it up. Yeah, my memory isn't as fast as yours, but it's faster than it used to be. Uh, we'll add you to the computer. Uh, our CPU, we'll call it number 2, 8080 number 2, and we're going from 71 to 47. So if we multiply that by, yeah, let's make that 3. There you go. And we're still not going to be as fast. We might get some bonuses from polishing, but we're nearer, I think. Okay, we'll try that. Uh, the GPU... Again, his performance on the GPU is, is better than mine. This is not good. He's, he's doing so well in that regard. Uh, 120 is our current price. Compositor chips is now a Sprite accelerator. And dip memory is now DRAM. Okay. And we'll add some memory to it. 50-ish. Yeah. Multiply it by. Oh, that's good. 2.25. I think we're still cheaper than it used to be. Yeah, it used to be 120, it's now 95. 3.44. Oh, no, let's make it 2.5. There you go. That's so much better. Add that to the computer. Power supply. Is there anything on that? Oh, did we have a, we had a fan or something, didn't we? Yeah, we had the big fan. Which just adds a lot of cost and noise, so we ain't going to do that. Nope. Uh, the motherboard. Our second ISO bus. Put the EEPROM in. And the BIOS with jumpers. It's a bit more expensive. But we're getting lots of good bonuses, I think, from there. That's fine. We'll take you, add you to the computer. Uh, everything else should be good. Our pricing. We should still make a profit, excluding marketing costs. This is just the basic co pr price of the computer minus how much it costs to make it. So it's not, uh, it's not the total cost per unit. And we will send you into testing. Your new computer model went into the testing phase. I think we could upgrade our marketing buildings again. We will do that. This is you, so we'll upgrade you. And you. And you. Oh, and even New Zealand. There you go. You have researched a new technology. Now got the UPS. Nice. Um, I'm thinking more logistics points. Uh, we need. Uh, we need to upgrade the office first, of course, to do that. 
We'll do that in all these countries. Oh, Austria is already level five, so we can build a large log logistics outfit there. Oh, hang on. My friend at Brutal wants to talk to us. Do you want this? Ah. Oh. Oh, you're going to pay us 23 grand for, wow, over 7,000 days. Uh, for that, I, I yeah, I, I'm okay with that. He can have the UPS. Don't think it adds too much extra to his computers. So, yeah, I'll accept that. So, we're, we're going to be very cordial with these guys. Neutral, or oh, actually big. Is there anything there that you can offer me? trade blueprints oh the tick box here must be based on the last thing i checked in the hardware list yeah I, that sometimes that's an issue for me i think i mean it does kind of make sense yeah if you're looking at hardware then you'll you if you want to if you're looking at the hardware design that you're building and you then go into negotiation with a competitor and it has that same hardware item selected there. Is that a good thing or a, a less good thing? I'm not sure. But it certainly confused me in the last episode, as you may recall. But uh, let's uh, look at all these. What's he got? Has he got a, a funky new operating system? I don't think you have, have you? No. Nothing else here really of any use to me. No. I Your didn't... building upgrade has completed. Okay, we're getting office Your up. building upgrade has completed. Lost new offices. Your building upgrade has completed. Your building upgrade has completed. Your building upgrade has completed. Ah, there it is. The Austrian logistics. Libya. You're going there. Uh, where are you? Hungary. Well, not a very small country, but what the heck? Georgia, you're very rich. A uh, very small. Tajikistan. Okay. We'll do that. And what's this? Liberia. Oh, you're average. You're not very big. Well, your taxes are low. Oh, we could go there. Okay, I'm losing money again, apparently. That's fair. Actually, it's not fair at all. Is this machine ready to be released? Oh, it is. It is. So we can market you. Uh, um, oh, this player would like to tell you something. Would you indeed, Mr. Cheap and Great? Sorry, but it's over. Oh. The offender's relations with all players. Okay, payments abandoned. Oh, were you paying me for something? Ah. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't remember that. I might have to check that back and you, you might remember it more than I do. Um, he wasn't paying me a lot. But okay, so offender's relations with all players lose 50 points and the offender loses 25% of their fans. So is that him losing? Notice the, the, the hint here, the help text. Everyone can decide not to pay anymore, but is it worth it? One risks losing potentially more money in court this way. Ah, there's a signal to something uh, that will be coming up in the next update to the game, which is the suing and all the legal and all the, all the other sort of bad stuff when it comes to diplomacy. So shame on oh. you. Shame. And still cannot find a... Oh, she is trying my patience. <laughs> really? It's all my own fault. Uh, to be honest, yes, it is, because I employed her. I selected her to be my... My CEO. But there you go. But you know what it is? When you're when you're the man in charge, when you're the person in charge. You have researched a new technology. You're not gonna take the blame, are you? That's somebody else's job. I don't suppose. Yeah, that's where Brown is selling. Mr. Big, or oh, actually he's not selling much at all anywhere. On these little pies over here. You have researched a new technology. His sales are very small. We've got the 8088 processor. And I think we'll do the 8088 in the next episode. I was hoping to have someone going bankrupt or something in this episode. 
they certainly take their time, don't they? So if we go here, um, actually you can't even tell how much he's selling. This is Mr. Big I'm talking about. Um, oh, Oman! Oh, hang on, no, no. It's not Oman, it's the Emirates. Uh, okay, well, we can, yeah, we'll, we'll take you, I think. I've still got logistics points to spend. Why am I losing money again? Stop it. There we are, we're not. Well, we, we are still losing money. Right, well, that's, that's a, a bad sign, to, bad place to stop, isn't it? Losing money. I'm not used to doing that here. But, uh, yeah, so I, what I, one thing I could do here, of course, is to reduce the cost of some of my buildings, particularly the research, which is very expensive at the moment. That's costing me three and a half million a day in the Philippines. It's costing me the same in Austria without the same benefit. I'm only getting 16 points from Austria as opposed to over 20 in the Philippines because of Edward's uh, research bonus. And here we're not getting any that's not costing us anything in New Zealand, really, for that one point. So I could reduce that. I'll take those costs down, but obviously it does mean I lose those research points. How many have I got there? 16. Okay, let's cut that in half to say about eight. Get the game running again. And we're losing less money. Okay, that's a bit better. And that's actually, before we go, quick check. One thing that I that always concerned me, oh, this machine is still being sold. That's was marketing. Because selling into really big countries uh, does cost a lot. Uh, so yeah, the extra for having two machines on the market isn't great. And it must be covering its own costs. Otherwise I'll get this different symbol up here saying uh, that machine isn't profitable. But uh, there you are. So yeah, we'll take that one off the market. That will save us some money. In fact, it will save us the amount we're losing, pretty much. There you go. We're back in profit. Splendid. And I am at 86% of the global market in uh, nearly October of 1976. Uh, everyone is still tootling around down there. Uh, my share of the market, of course, is substantial. My sales. Yeah, we've already exceeded last year's sales already, and we're not yet in October. So that's all rather good. So that's it. I'm going to say thank you so much for watching this episode of Computer Tycoon. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Just click on the old thumbs yuppie button. Even better. If you've got something to say about what I'm doing with the game or the game itself, then please do just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Computer Tycoon, until the next time, bye bye for now.